Hey everyone, it's Ariel. Welcome back to another video. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. Today I'm gonna show you guys how I got these effortless, beachy, mermaid style, natural waves. Um, so if you wanna see how I did that with my flat iron, then just keep on watching. So before we get into the video, I just wanted to quickly talk about the flat iron I'm using, which is a new one. So this flat iron is by Devolve. They were nice enough to send this over for me and let me try it out and kind of review it for you guys. So this is the Duval um, Desire Series Styling Iron. So let's just go ahead and open this up. So it does come with little safety precautions, instructions, I guess, um, just in case you need them. And then it's this really nice pink color. It's nice, like hot pink, very bright, very bright. Wow crazy. So this flat iron has tourmaline ceramic plates. Um, it has a tourmaline coating on the plates, which helps to lock in the hair's moisture and seal the cuticle. It has an adjustable temperature dial, which is great. I don't trust flat irons that don't have an adjustable temperature because I just need to be able to see what temperature I'm using my flat iron at because I pretty much never use it on like full heat because a lot of flat irons will go up to like 450 this one this one actually does go up to 450 um, and that is just way too hot in my opinion to use on anybody's hair so I love that it has a dial so you can really decide um, what temperature you want to use it on. So that's awesome. It has a swivel cord, which is also great because no matter which way you move it, it's always kind of moving with you. So it's not going to get like tangled up at all. And the cord is actually eight feet long, they said. So that's, that's a lot of space. So yeah, I am definitely excited to try this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and plug it in and turn it on. So it does have the little on off button and then it has the temperature gauge right beside it. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip the on button and I'm gonna use it at about what I'm guessing is the 200 to 20 range. My hair is already straight so I don't want to cause any extra damage um, and I don't really need it to be too hot since we're just putting a little wave in, it's nothing crazy. The first thing I'm gonna do is use some heat protectant. This is the Tresemme Thermal Creations heat tamer spray. I just recently started using this again. I used to use this like years ago and then I stopped, but I decided to just pick it up and try it again. Um, so I'm just gonna give it a shake and then I'm gonna spray it all over my hair, paying special attention to the ends where it matters the most. Heat protectant is key, so make sure you're using heat protectant. Now I'm just gonna comb that through just using this little regular comb just to help distribute that product all the way through. Okay, so now I'm gonna section my hair and I'm gonna do pretty small sections, but not like too small. <laughs> Medium sections, maybe. Maybe that makes more sense. And then I'm just gonna clip away whatever I am not using at the moment, using one of my croc, croc, croc clips. So I'm gonna start in this back section and I think my flat iron should be warm by now. I'm not exactly sure how you tell uh, when it's ready. Um, it does have this little green light on the side, so maybe that means it's ready. I'm not sure if that just means it's on or it means it's ready. I probably should read the instructions. <laughs> so the first thing I'm going to do is take a section from this side and I'm actually going to create like a diagonal line. So right about here, down diagonally towards the back sort of like that. And this is the pattern I'm gonna follow all the way up my head when I'm doing these waves. It's kind of a diagonal pattern and you'll see why in a second. So I'm going in about an inch and a half or two away from my root and I'm gonna start by clamping down and then curving it one way, stopping and curving it the other way. You wanna do this pretty quickly, but I'm just gonna continue to switch angles going forward and then back all the way until I get to the end. And then you're left with this kind of kink. And I feel like this is not quite hot enough, so I'm just gonna turn this up a tiny bit. And now I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go to this side now so you guys can see what I just did again. So taking a diagonal section, so kind of just starting like at the end and then going towards the middle of my head. And you don't wanna take too big of a section 
um, not too small either, but just kind of a medium section. And then I'm doing the same thing. So I'm going about an inch and a half or so away from my root, clamping down and then immediately pulling, I'm kind of twisting and then pulling down, switching directions, pulling down, twisting, switching directions, pulling down and just continuing that all the way down. And then you get this kind of like wave. So that is exactly what we want. And I'm actually just gonna leave it. I don't wanna touch it too much because I wanna give them time to set while I'm doing the rest. So I'm just gonna continue that pattern. The back one, I'm just gonna do it has, as it is. It's basically a triangle section now because we've taken a diagonal from each side and this is just what we're left with. So I'm just gonna do that all in one. So clamping down and then turning my hand and pulling down. So I'm pulling down for about an inch worth of hair and then I'm switching directions and going the other way, doing that same thing all the way down. That, now we can move on to the next section. It'll be easier to see what I'm doing as I get farther up my head. The back is always the hardest part. But okay, so for this one, I'm gonna go to about my eyebrow, just sectioning a part away, clipping that up. Okay, so this side will be much easier to see now. So I'm taking that diagonal section like that. And I'm basically putting my flat iron in at the same angle of that part line that I just made. There's my part and this is how I'm gonna put my flat iron in. So I'm going like this. I'm gonna start this one this way. And then flipping sides, pulling down this way flip sides, pull down the other way, and just keep doing that all the way down like that. And now you can see that little wave that we got now. So it might take you a second to like figure out the angles and the parting, but once you do this a few times, you'll be a pro, it's super easy. Again, I have my diagonal section going in at that same angle as my Part that I just made. And you can go either this way or this way, whatever's easier for you. This time I'm gonna go up first, pull down, down, pull, switch directions, pull, switch directions, pull all the way down. And then once I get kind of to the back area, I'll usually switch sides and go to the other side before I do the back. It's just a little bit easier that way because you can kind of see what you're doing here, but the back, it's kind of a mystery. So I'm just gonna go to this side now and parting that diagonal. And now I'm gonna go about an inch away towards my face first, switch directions, away. Just keep doing that all the way down. And once you get to the end, you can just pull it straight out. That usually gives it a nice um, natural look. Also helps if you hold the tip of your flat iron like I'm doing, just helps you have a little bit more control and it also makes sure that the hair doesn't slip out. This is what I'm left with at the back. I'm just gonna split this into two, like that. And you guys can probably see how easily this flat iron is gliding through my hair and that's because of the tourmaline coated plates. So I definitely like that a lot. It's no fun when your flat iron keeps getting stuck in your hair. Nobody wants that. Okay, so now I'm gonna keep moving up and keep doing that exact same thing all the way up my head. And by the way, you guys, Duval is giving me a 70% off code for you guys to use. So if you are interested in this flat iron or even one of their curling wands, they also have wands um, from the same series or the same collection of tools. Um, so you can use my code Arial70, which is linked in the description, and they're giving you 70% off. So you can get this flat iron or a wand for $28.50. It's crazy. So make sure you check that out if you're interested.
So as I'm getting further up, up my head, you can really see these curls starting to form. It's gonna look so good. Can't wait for you guys to see the end results. It's just, it's giving me mermaid vibes for sure. Okay, so I just finished doing all of my hair. I did the same technique all the way through my head. So sticking my flat iron in and then switching directions as I slowly pull down. Um, so this is how it looks right after I do that. Um, but I actually wanna let this sit and really let the curls like set in my hair for a few minutes. And then I'm actually gonna apply some more product, um, but I'm gonna let these sit for a few minutes. So I'm gonna go grab my other product let these sit for a few minutes and then I will come back and show you what I do next. Okay, you guys, so I just let this sit for a few minutes. I have my products here that I'm gonna use next. So the first thing I'm going to put in is some argan oil. You guys already know if you've seen my videos how much I love this stuff for my hair. So I'm gonna put a little bit of that in just like a drop in a bit just to kind of seal my ends a little bit. And I'm gonna be really gentle with this because I still, I'm trying not to pull out any of those curls I just put in. So I'm just gonna kind of scrunch it into the ends, but that'll just help to add a little bit of moisture and shine to my hair. And then next, I'm actually gonna use this Aveda Texture Tonic. I don't think I've ever used this in a video. Normally I would use, um, the Aveda Shampoo Dry Shampoo after putting any kind of curl or wave in. Um, but I have had this sitting in my little drawer for so long, like two years, and I never use it. So I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to use it. Um, it's basically like a texturizing spray, so it's perfect for waves, um, just adding a bit more like volume and texture. Um, these are both great products for that, but since I have used this one so many times, I'm gonna use the texture tonic today. Give it a shake. So I'm gonna go in and lift my hair and, oh, it's got I'm gonna lift my hair and spray kind of inside as I slowly drop it back down. Mm, I forgot how good this stuff smells. But I'm just gonna do that all over. So just lifting it up, making sure I'm really getting all in those curls. Okay, give it a little shake because it just feels right. And now I'm gonna go in and kind of tussle it with my hands. This is the fun part. I feel like this part is the part that really makes or breaks the style, the finishing part. I'm gonna tuck this cause I just am feeling that. And I'm just gonna kind of continue to play around, fluff it up and see where I want pieces to sit. So I'm just kind of playing with it until I like how everything is sitting. And do you see how much volume it gave me? That's exactly what I needed. You can even go in and do a bit of teasing if you want to. Teasing in my hair don't usually get along, but I will do a little bit just for fun. Okay you guys, so this is pretty much the finished look. So these are kind of my soft, messy, natural, beachy waves. Definitely mermaid vibes. I like it. It's very like effortless and just, it's cute. It's, it's messy, but cute. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, you could continue to play around and like you could even go back in with your flat iron and like fix up any pieces that you aren't really liking. But I think I am pretty satisfied with this and I don't really wanna apply any more heat to my poor hair right now. So I'm gonna say this is the finished look, but I hope you guys like this video. I hope you found it helpful in some way. Um, if you did, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and subscribe if you're not already. Um, also consider sharing this to somebody that you feel like might enjoy it. Um, that would help up my channel a lot as well. Um, but any support means a lot to me. So thank you so much if you do any of that stuff. You can also follow me on Instagram at stylebyariel underscore and check out my blog stylebyariel.com. But that is it for today. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.